In this video, I will show you how to open long and short positions on the platform BitUnix. If you want to get the best sign up bonus possible on BitUnix, you simply have to go down to the first link in the video description. You will get to exactly this page right here and you can get up to $5,500 of welcome bonuses. To create your account, you simply have to enter your email address right here and set a password or use one of these options and then you're ready to go. Once you have created an account and you log in for the first time, you can immediately go up here to the welcome bonuses. Right after the sign up, you can pick up right here your first bonus then after you've deposited and made your first trade again two new bonuses also you can open a mystery box right here the more you then trade over time the higher of a bonus you can get right here and down below at the bottom you can also see depending on how much you deposit over time you can get an additional bonus which gets up to five thousand dollars bitunix is a kyc free platform so you can start right away without any id verification to deposit money we have two options either with crypto or with fiat first let me show you how you can deposit money with crypto you simply go up here to the wallet symbol and then click on deposit then right here select the coin you want to deposit for example bitcoin ethereum in my case i'm going to choose usdt then down here for the network select whichever one you want in my case i like to use the tron network for example and then down here you will be presented with your personal deposit address which you can now copy to your clipboard right here and then send to crypto to this address it should arrive within a few minutes if you're doing this for the first time or want to send larger amounts i recommend you to first send a small amount and then once you have received it send the remaining amount in a second transaction so you can easily send money from your own wallet or another exchange in any cryptocurrency to here. The second option would be to deposit with fiat. So if you don't have any crypto yet or you just want to deposit directly with euro, US dollar, British pound, whichever fiat currency you own, there's also an option for that. And you can get there by going up here to buy crypto and then click on third party. Here on the right, choose the fiat currency you want to deposit. In my case, I will just choose the euro right here, then type in how much. In my case, I'm going to start with 1000 euro. Then down here, choose the cryptocurrency you want to receive. I highly recommend you to choose USDT right here because eventually we need the money in USDT right here to trade with it. Next up, we need to choose the payment method right here. So you can choose your Visa, MasterCard, Apple Pay, Google Pay, or even a normal SEPA bank transfer right here. Once you've chosen the payment method, down here you will see different third-party services that offer that payment method. Up here you will see the one with the lowest fees, so you can choose that. You can see how much USDT you will receive, and then just simply click on buy, and you will be redirected to this third-party provider. And what it will do, it will buy the cryptocurrency with your fiat currency for you, and then automatically send it to your your BitUnix account right here. So that's how the service right here works. Once you've made any deposit, you can always check if the money has already arrived by simply going up here to your wallet symbol and then click on spot account. Here you can see an overview of all of your balances on your BitUnix account. So you should see all of your deposited funds right here. Next up, we need to make sure that we have the money in USDT to trade with it. So if you have, for example, Bitcoin or Ethereum deposited, we first need to convert that to USDT. And we can do that by simply going up here to spot. Then right here, choose the cryptocurrency you have deposited. For example, if you have deposited Bitcoin or Ethereum, choose the trading pair right here then scroll down here choose market order to execute the sell immediately you will see the balance right here of that particular coin and your usdt balance right here simply type in the amount you want to sell right here or to use the slide controller and just for example put it to 100 then click on sell btc right here and then your btc amount right here will be sold and convert it into usdt right here and that's where we need it once you have converted your crypto into usdt we can then just go up here back to our wallet go to spot account and then we have it here in USDT. Now, if you want to trade with it, we need to transfer it from our spot account to our futures account right here. And to do that, we simply go up here to transfer, choose from spot account to futures account, type in the amount down here or simply click on all and then just click on submit. Then your money will be transferred. You can see in our spot account, none is left. And if you go to your futures account, we can now see the balance right here and we can now trade with that money here. Now we can get started with the trading. To get to the trading platform, we simply go up here and click on futures and then we will get right here to the futures platform. Let me quickly show you everything that we can see right here. First of all, you can choose up here the trading pair that you want to trade. So you can trade any of these different coins on here. As you can see, BitUnix offers many different cryptocurrencies that you can trade. You can also search for one. In my case, I'm just going to stick with Bitcoin for now. Down below right here, you will see the price chart. This is just a cutout from TradingView if you're familiar with that. So you can easily do some drawings into the chart right here, move around and also choose the different time frames up here. Right next to it, you can see the order book with all the selling orders and the buying orders in the market currently. Currently. At the bottom, you will see your open positions, which we will see in just a bit when we open our first position, as well as your open order, such as take profit and stop loss or your history. On the right side, if you scroll down a little bit, you will see some information about your funds that you have in your futures account. And if we scroll up a bit, this right here is where we can control of our trades. So where we can open and close trades, choose the order type, set the position size, take profit, stop loss, everything to control our trades. So let's open our first long position. You simply can go up here, choose the margin mode as isolated. I would recommend you 
then choose your leverage. I'm just gonna start off with a 5x leverage for now. And then we can choose open and next up choose the order type. We can choose between a limit or market order. At a limit order, we could set a certain price at which we want our position to be open. For example, if you type in $92,000, then we would place a limit order in here. And only if the price goes down and reaches that price, then your limit order would be filled and we would open our long position. But what we can also do is, and what I would recommend to you is simply choose a market order because a market order is executed immediately at the current market price. Next up, we can choose the position size. I would recommend you to click on here and choose USDT nominal value because then you can type in here the entire position size in USDT. You could also choose it in BTC if you prefer that or type in the amount as a cost of your own money. So how much of your own capital you're using. I personally like to use this one because our cost value we can also later on see down here. So if we set that up right here, you can see under cost anyways, how much of your own money you're using for this trade. So let's make an example. Let's type in right here. We want to open a $500 position size. You can see down here under cost, we are using $100 of our own money because the $100 times the 5x leverage will equal the entire position size of $500. Once we are fine with that, we can also add a take profit and stop loss. So if you're using a long order, just click on buy TPSL right here and type in the prices where you want your TPNSL to be. For example, if you want your take profit to be at $108,000, we can type that in right here. You can also see we are making $55 of a profit and our stop loss let's say we want to place it at um, $92,000 we can just type that in right here and you can see we are making around about $20 of a loss in here then we can simply click on open long and our long trade will be opened right away we can immediately see it in the chart up here is our take profit and down here is our stop loss here the 0.0048 will mean the position size in BTC you can also see that down here if you scroll down a little bit you will see here this is our opened position. We can see the Bitcoin size and the size in USDT. If you're wondering why this is a little bit smaller than the initial $500 we've set up in here, it's because it needs to be rounded to an even BTC number, four digits after the decimal point. And because we're using very small numbers in here, this is why the numbers sometimes don't match exactly and will be rounded. This also, of course, goes for our margin. This is our own capital in this trade. You know, we've set it up here to 100. Now it's a little bit smaller at $92. Here you will see your entry price where we entered the position and we can also see our estimated liquidation price. And here on the right, you will see your open profit or loss. Currently the price has gone up a little bit since we opened the position. That's why we are in a small profit. And also down here, you will see your realized PL. So if you're closing parts of your position, for example, taking some profits along the way, then you will see those profits in here. At the beginning, it's always a small loss because of the trading fees that you pay when you're opening the position. Also important is the liquidation price in here, which is at $77,000. If you zoom out a little bit in the chart, you will also see it down here. So if we don't have a stop loss, currently we have one, but let's assume we didn't have one and the price goes down and reaches those $77,000, then this trade right here would be closed automatically by the platform, which is also called liquidated and you would lose your margin right here in this trade, your own capital. So this is always at risk. You cannot lose more than that. Of course, make sure that you have it set to isolate, but if you set isolated in here, you can only lose your margin and it will be lost when the liquidation price is reached. But of course, you can prevent that by simply placing a stop loss beforehand, which we've done in this case. And at that price, we would lose the initial $20 or so we've set up at the beginning. Speaking of the take profit and stop loss, you can, of course, edit them at any time, either by just dragging with your mouse and putting it to a new position. If you have your mouse over it, you will also see your profit you will make. In this case, $44. Same goes for a stop loss. Let's place it here and you will see, OK, we are making $15 of a loss in this case. If you want to edit them more specifically, you can also go down here to open orders then go to TPSL, you will also see it in here. And if you click on modify, you can either choose a specific price in here or also type in how much profit or loss you would make. For example, you could set this to exactly $70 of profit. Price will be calculated automatically. Same goes for your stop loss. I want to put it to minus, uh, let's say $18, price is calculated. And what you can also choose is if you want to close the entire position at that price or maybe only half of it, how much percent you can choose that however you want it. In this case, I'm going to choose it to 100%, click on confirm. So I changed that up. So now my take profit is up here. You can of course also cancel them. And then if you want to set new ones, just go to position, click on TPSL, type in those numbers again, or also just drag and hold on TP and then release it wherever you want to place it. You will also see immediately how much profit you would make. If you release it, you will place your TP that way. Same goes for my stop loss. Let's place it to $20 of a loss. And then we have placed new ones just like that. If you want to close your trade, you can easily do that by simply going down here to the bottom. Then here under price, just choose market to close it immediately. 
And then under quantity, either type in the BTC value right here. So of course this right here is 100%. This is our entire position, which we can see in here, but you can also set it to 50% or also just type in whichever amount you want to close. So let's say I want to close 25% and then just click on close. Now you will see I've decreased my position size to a smaller one, so I only closed a part of it. And if you put this here to 100% and then just click on close, you will close the entire trade. Next step, I also want to show you how you can do it with a short position. It pretty much works exactly the same. Just go in here, choose open, mark it again, and then type in the amount. I can also put it to 100%, for example. Then I will just use all of my available balance right here under cost so i'm using 130 dollars times the 5x leverage which we still have in here equals the entire position size of 640 dollars then i can just click on open short this time as you will see now it's in red and it's a short position in here pretty much anything else works exactly the same only difference is now we are making a profit if the price goes down and a loss if the price goes up of course also our liquidation price is now above the current price you can also see it up here because we are making a loss if the price goes up if you want to place take profit or stop loss it works exactly the same as you can see i didn't do it at the beginning but i can still do it by either clicking on here setting up those values or by simply just again drag and hold of course if i move up i'm making the loss so let's put it to like 18 dollars of a loss and let's put my take profit at let's say plus 50 dollars right here and that way i can place my stop loss and take profit for a short position that way too closing your position of course is also very simple again by just doing it like in here as we did last time or what you can also do is click on flash close in here or on this little x to close your position immediately if you just do that and confirm it you can close your entire position at just one click don't forget to pick up your special sign up bonus with up to $5,500 of welcome bonuses by simply using the first link down from the video description and if you have any other questions always feel free to ask them in the comments.